Cole, President and CEO at Ocean Conservancy. You know, marine debris is one of the biggest problems facing our ocean, and it's everybody's problem, no matter where you live. I'm here this morning on the banks of the Potomac River outside of Washington, D.C., and a plastic bag that I found when I arrived here uh, might end up in the Chesapeake Bay and then in the Atlantic Ocean and presents a choking hazard for endangered wildlife like sea turtles. But it doesn't have to be this way. Marine debris is completely preventable. And for 25 years, Ocean Conservancy has been leading the charge. I hope you'll join us this year for the 25th anniversary of the International Coastal Cleanup. Each fall on a single day, hundreds of thousands of volunteers in more than 100 countries and locations are fanning out along lakes and streams and rivers and the ocean to pick up trash. Working together in spirit across time zones, these citizen scientists are recording every single item they find, giving us a unique snapshot of the worldwide marine debris threat. In 2009 alone, they collected more than 10 million items. The International Coastal Cleanup is truly a remarkable global movement. And it's all the more inspiring to me when I realize that back in 1986, this effort was started by just a few people. And in January of 1986, my husband and I took a trip to the Texas coast. And that's when I was just blown away by the debris, the buckets, and the light bulbs and the rubber gloves that were on the coast. And so when I went back to work, I called our office and I said, you won't believe it. But everything that Kathy O'Hara wrote in her report, which was called Plastics in the Ocean, More Than a Litter Problem, that's right here. I'm walking in it. I'm seeing it. I'm reading about birds caught in monofilament line. I'm hearing about sea turtles dead with plastic bags in their stomachs. And so it was appalling to learn that plastic is more than a litter problem, but also be living it to actually walk through the trash. So I said, I think. I think maybe we should have a beach cleanup down here. I think we should do a beach cleanup and do something important to find out what kind of trash is on the coast. During that first coastal cleanup, 2,800 volunteers picked up about 124 tons of trash in just a few hours. But the data they recorded lives on and made that event last well beyond that single day. I think one of the reasons the beach cleanup was so important to me and to the Center for Marine Conservation, now the Ocean Conservancy, is the fact that plastic debris impacts wildlife. And innocent animals are in their ocean habitat or birds, shorebirds that are on the beach, and they're actually being killed by marine debris. And so the idea of ingestion with animals eating plastic and entanglement with animals actually being caught in discarded fishing line and the monofilament line that we were finding on the beach, it was those kind of tragic examples that really motivated people, I think, to take part in the cleanup. And also why it was so important, the volunteers were counting the trash. Because as they wrote down balloons, 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 we could try to work on legislation in the states to prohibit mass balloon releases. Volunteers tally every single item of marine debris onto data cards, letting us know what it is and where it came from. Then each year, Ocean Conservancy compiles and analyzes that data. The resulting marine debris index, as we call it, is the only location by location, item by item, accounting of marine debris and its sources. Today, the problem of marine debris is growing, not declining. Ocean Conservancy believes the time is right to expand our own focus and build on the momentum of the International Coastal Cleanup through our new marine debris program. We're partnering with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to get the message out about scientifically based marine debris prevention. But we cannot do this without you. Please join us along with half a million other volunteers this year as we celebrate our 25th annual International Coastal Cleanup in September. We really can't do this without you. Thank you.